大家好，欢迎回到宋诗新语。马斯克最近很忙啊啊，先去了以色列，遥望了加沙，回来呢又大骂了迪士尼啊，把这些广告商给骂的是狗血喷头。呃，他很忙，我们吃瓜也很忙。那最重要的事呢，就是他的 Cybertruck 的这个发布，这个 Cybertruck 啊，我甚至认为啊，他大骂迪士尼啊，这个发飙也是一种宣传。哎，他这一下就是无数的媒体又把他放到。头条了是吧？那这个 Cybertruck 的发布呢，有很多的这个特斯拉迷啊，无论是黑粉啊，还是呃这个这个钢丝钢粉是吧，都做了评测呀，这个现场的拍摄。那今天啊，我们是找到这个叫 Dirty Tesla 这么一个视频账号 YouTuber。他拍的，但一看这名字叫 Dirty Tesla， 以为他是是不是黑粉啊？后来我看看内容，不像是黑粉啊，像是一种自嘲啊。好，下载我们就看一下。他的这个视频，我做成了中英文字幕。我们做个 reaction。What is going on, everybody? We're here taking a first look at the Tesla Cybertruck. And yes, I am doing my audio in post because, of course, you know something had to go wrong with my recording, but no big deal. So we're here. First, we're going to check out the bed. And in person, it does look bigger than in pictures. But for some reason, it still looks like a little smaller than I would expect. But Objectively, looking at it, it's going to have plenty of room.、Uh, of course, it'll have a lot more room than my current Model Y does. But there's tons of space in here for everything you need. And I'm just going in and picking up the sub trunk storage. And when I picked that up, that actually has a lot more space in it than I would have expected from the pictures I've seen. So there's a decent amount of sub trunk storage in the bed of the truck. On top of having the trunk and the whole bed of the truck and everything、uh, like that, so really good、um, seeing all this storage in the cyber truck. Going around and looking at the wheels here, on the tips on the aero caps here,、uh, you can see that they're rubber, and that is speculated so that if you air down, you're doing some off-roading, then you will、uh, not kind of snap your aero caps. You won't、uh, have them fall off or anything. Not that you really need aero as you're <laughs> off-roading, but then you can leave them on. You don't have to take them off to do your off-roading. Cybertruck is getting decently dirty here. Mine will be much dirtier than this, and、uh, we'll be taking advantage of that. But it feels really cool to actually like finally touch a Cybertruck. I've never been this close to one, and this is the final production version of the Cybertruck. So going around here, when you look at the door, it's open to almost a 90 degree angle. This door opens so wide; it is great for getting in and out of the truck. It's going to be super easy, and it's going to be really nice. So I love to see that. Complaint in my current Teslas is the doors always want to close on you when you're trying to get in and out. They don't open wide enough. Here is the window switch. It looks kind of cybery, and it's really big compared to the window switches in、uh, the current Tesla vehicles. It's probably like two to two point five times the size. And then you have the door open button. Even though it kind of looks like it's opening the front door, not the back door,、um, it's pretty obvious. And that button is a physical button. It is not capacitive. The windows do look to be double paned to help with、uh, noise and insulation. And then on top of that, they are supposed to be shadow resistant or something, but we don't know exactly、uh, what we're going to be getting with those windows in terms of <laughs> you know the test that they tried at Unveil where they、uh, they did crack, but they didn't let the ball go through. Front door doesn't open quite as wide as the back door, but still pretty good. I would say it's pretty normal. And then you have the same switches on the side there. We have the ambient lighting that we're checking out, and the room in here is amazing. So just getting some pictures here of the screen and checking everything out. I mean, it's really amazing to be seeing this Cybertruck.、Uh, now I didn't expect this piece to be here above my head. I thought it just was glass all the way up,、uh, and then there was glass in the back. I don't know if that has something to do with the aftermarket、uh, light accessory at the top or what's going on, but that seems to just be part of the truck. So the front windshield is huge, and it does definitely give you that Model X vibe. Feels really nice. The sun visors are awesome, though. They are massive. They get much bigger than the sun visors in any other Tesla vehicle. Really happy to see that. And then they attach to the side there with magnets, just kind of like on the Model X. You see that that little piece goes in and out, and when you push that back, it just magnetizes to stick onto there. But that's going to block a lot of sun. That's always a complaint of mine in other Tesla vehicles is I get a lot of sun in my eyes. And then just a little interesting thing, this piece here on the sun visor, the whole thing physically moves、uh, back and forth as you're move, moving that、uh, sun visor. So a pretty interesting way to solve that problem from Tesla there. 
So I'm just gonna go into the menu here, act like this is my truck, why not? And we're gonna open the glove box and I was very surprised to see it opens like a drawer instead of dropping down and it slides out very nicely. There's some pieces in here I don't wanna mess with, I don't know what they're for. And then you just barely touch it and it slides right back into place. So we'll do that one more time, we'll open it, it slides out like a nice drawer and it slides right back in. I actually love that implementation, it's very cool. You can also see in the center there is where your key cards are and everything, that's how you can start the truck if you don't have the phone app, it's just like the Model S and X works just like that. We have all weather floor mats in here. I don't know if those will come standard or not, but I would hope so, uh, especially in a truck. You don't want carpet down there. Now this big open space, I'm not a huge fan of, but I'm hoping that they're gonna have some aftermarket accessories that we can put in there, kind of utilize all of that empty space there. Coming around to the front, you can see the frunk opening. It is a powered open and closed frunk. Thankfully, Tesla's first, and it's uh, really nice to finally see that. It does almost take out Kim there, <laughs> but she has some good reflexes and she dodges it. So uh, <laughs> that would have uh, not been good. The lights in the front look really good. I'm loving the light bar on top of the LED lights we have in the front. All right, so going around to the driver's side here, we can check out the giant windshield wiper. It does look to be all one piece. Uh, I think some earlier prototypes, it looked like it was just two smaller wipers kind of on top of each other. It was honestly hard to tell, even getting really close uh, up to it and looking at it, if it was one giant wiper or kind of two separate pieces. But uh, either way, it does the job, and we'll get to see it here in a second, actually wiping off the windshield from some of this Texas rain. All right, so checking out the windshield wiper here. It looks real goofy in person. I mean, whatever, it gets the job done. I don't actually care that much, but it does look pretty silly. And then it's also funny to see it stop at the bottom here. So obviously in most vehicles, the windshield wipers stay at the bottom and they're kind of hidden under the hood uh, and that helps with aero. Well, in Cybertruck, you can't do that. So they keep it in the vertical position, which is basically the best you're gonna get uh, in terms of aero. It also does a great job of wiping the windshield. I don't know why there was any doubt in that. Some people were doubting it was gonna wipe enough of the windshield um, to cover the cameras or be sufficient for the driver or even the passenger, but it very clearly is getting plenty of the windshield. And then I wanted to check out the mirrors here and see if there was any like obvious way to take these off. And it doesn't seem obvious. Now we've seen pictures online where they were off before. Uh, it looks like you may be able to just lift it straight up. Of course, I didn't want to, you know, do that on this Cybertruck. That's not mine. All right, so first look at the Tesla Cybertruck. I am super excited. I can't believe I got to see it up close. It's been four years of waiting, but here we finally are. I am even more excited to take delivery of mine. As long as that range number is looking okay, I'm still a little skeptical. Um, I would like well over 300 miles of range on my Cybertruck, especially in the winter. That is really not that much, uh, despite a lot of people saying it's plenty. Uh, in the winter, when you lose a lot of range, it's uh, you can always use more. And then a few more pieces of information I wanna throw in here that I didn't have at time of filming. Tesla is releasing a rear wheel drive, all wheel drive, and Cyber B Cybertruck. We have the middle of the road, 79,990, so you'll still get the tax credit, all wheel drive. It's coming next year, 2020. 24, 340 miles of range. Some other specs I'll put on the screen. This is the one I will be going with. I do wish range was a little bit better on this one. I would love to see over 400 miles, but there is also the extended pack, which I'll talk about in a second. All things considered, it is looking good, and I will be excited to take delivery of that vehicle. As of now, you can go on Tesla's website and you can order a Cybertruck. Right now, you can order the one you want, and then you'll be contacted at the time of delivery. So far, people who have already ordered uh, who have reservations such as myself, there's really nothing we can do, but I assume that is coming really soon. Some other cool pieces of information from the delivery event I saw, there is some under seat storage for the back seats. You can lift the back seats up and it actually keep things fairly organized. I don't know what is in there. It looks like a vacuum or something. I have no idea. I think it was just to kind of demonstrate you could hold stuff, but I'm not sure if that's part of the truck. We saw the tent camping accessory and it leaves some space below that. So you're kind of like floating in the air. I assume that is so you can fit the uh, extended battery down there. And then the last big thing Elon talked about on X is an optional pack that fits in about a third of the truck bed, which will extend the range. And you'll get up to 470 miles of range with that. Now, I initially was kind of thinking you could add and remove this as you wanted, but I'm guessing this is gonna be installed by the service center and then it'll just be in there. You won't really easily be able to remove it. This is definitely an option that I think I would want, but most of the time I don't need that range, but thinking about road trips and winter driving, it would be great. Some overall thoughts, I wish the prices were a little better, although I don't find them outrageous. On top of that, I wish the battery range was a bit better as well. Overall, I think it is worth the package and I do think I will go forward with my order on the Cybertruck. Can't wait to get to drive one. Hope you enjoyed this one. You'll see me in the next video. <laughs> 你会花人民币呃六七十万买一个这个电瓶的卡车吗<笑> 
。嗯，其实买这个车呀，还是买的是一种时尚，那并不是功能。呃，也严格来说，这种车在中国北方还是没法开的。我觉得在加拿大可能也够呛，因为低温下的这个电池的失效的速度啊，是还没有解决的一个问题。再一个呢，马斯克确实比较厉害，他把这么一个卡车啊，我们叫卡车嘛，土特吊渣，他做成了一个时尚的这么一个昂贵的消费品，超过了绝大多数汽车的价格，是吧？所以我们说，很多人都说中国人从一、e、到 N 做得好，但是真正的工程学大师啊，还是马斯克。我们之前也讲过多少次，无论是 SpaceX 还是特斯拉，还是我们现在讲的 Neuralink， 是吧？呃，这些里边的基础技术、核心技术都不是他发明的，但是呢，他就能把这些组合起来，管理好，做到最大的极致。所以呢。皮卡车啊，我有不少朋友都在这个卡车厂上班啊，有不少朋友，但是他们现在也都离开了。当时说起这个皮卡来的时候，觉得还是要低点档次是吧？它和轿车比起来肯定是，但是现在你看看，呃，当然在国外不是这样啊，在中国来说，嗯，这个皮卡和这个呃轿车，它肯定还是一个是功能不同嘛，一个是你要开起来这感觉也是不一样的。但是现在。c y b e r t r u c k 啊，它就能扭转很多人的看法啊，它像一个时尚的这么一个大玩具一样，走进了我们的视野。啊，这个 Dirty 特斯拉这小哥呢，号称要买后边的高配版的，有十多万美元的这么一辆车啊，那他肯定是图的是这种 logo 这种符号啊，他是一个铁粉啊。对于我们普通消费者来说，哎，买不买这样的车，还是要根据你的能力。量力而行。好的，这就是关于 Cybertruck 发布的一个 reaction 视频。谢谢大家收看，咱们下次再见，拜拜。